Parents will receive the following email to approve or deny the participation of their player. Click on the link to log in as a parent or new user. Log in as a first time user, click I'm a parent, your username is your email and you will just need to create a password in which that password must be between 8 and 30 characters, contain one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and one number. And then reconfirm your password and click save. Next you will enter in all of the parent information and then all of the player information and click save. Read the waiver, copy and paste your name into the sign box below, check that you have read and agree, and click the I agree button. Now you will see that your child appears under your player profile account. If you click under the upcoming events tab, you will also see that the coach has entered you into the following events. You can click under the player profile tab where you can make any edits to your account by clicking edit player button. If any fields are required and necessary, this system will notify you. Make sure you hit save on any changes that you make. Now you will see at the bottom of your screen that your parent name shows up and that the my team section at the bottom includes the team that your child is participating under. Just make sure that your player's name is highlighted in the blue box in order to manage that account. If you have forgot your password, click the forgot password link under the login button on the left hand side. Type in your username, which is your email address, then click the continue button. Choose a contact method of email or text message to receive a six digit code to reset your password. Then click continue. Check your email or text message and enter the six digit code that was sent to you. Here is an example of the email. Simply copy and paste the code into the code box and click continue. Next, you will reset your password with the correct criteria length and click the reset password button. Your password has been changed and now you can continue by clicking the login here button.